Hi everyone, it's me B, and I'm back on to do my personal readings. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for somebody called Bobby and he would like to know what is his next step to move forward in his love life. Please note that this reading is done for entertainment purposes only. Okay, so the deck that I'm going to use for this reading is this one. It's called The Shrine of the Black Medusa. Okay, so let's commence. Okay, so I've covered it with rose quartz for love. Let's shuffle the cards and see what they have to say for you, Bobby. I'm going to show the back of the cards. Aren't they, aren't they absolutely gorgeous? Okay, so let's crack on. This deck. Oh dear, these cards have fallen out. Just, I, I, just, I, I just started to shuffle the cards and these three cards are falling out. So I'm going to place these cards here. One, two, three. Okay, Medusa, I hope you're not another jumpy deck. I would like your advice so that I can read for Bobby. Bobby would like to know what is the future? Oh dear. Why am I getting these jumpy decks? Two more fill out, I'll put them there. Oh dear. Medusa, stop misbehaving. I'd like to. Oh my god, another jumper. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to have to read these jumper cards because um, this deck wouldn't allow me to shuffle and select the cards. So the, the spread that I'm going to do for this reading is called the Future Love Reading. It's a five card spread. So let me turn the cards around and commence with this reading. Okay, so that's card one. Card two. Card three, card four, card five, and card six. Okay. Okay, so the first position is my two future love. And the card that you've chosen for that, Bobby is the Three of Swords. So this card is telling me that your heart has been broken before and you're kind of feeling blue with regards to love. You don't know what you're going to do because you don't want to be hurt again. Um, so this card really, to me, is all about heartbreak. And um, I feel that you're still kind of sorrowful in that kind of department. Um, and this, this card is basically showing me um, that in the future, in your future love, please don't follow the path that led you to this kind of heartbreak um, from a previous relationship. Okay, so position two is what will be the instant attraction? And you've got here the Four of Swords. Now to me, Bobby, the Four of Swords is all about healing and taking time out and taking time to rest. So I feel that... Um, the new person that enters your life will have that kind of like compassionate kind of energy. You know, he will kind of be um, understanding and, you know, heal your trauma from previous love relationships. Um, and you, you'll find that attractive because I, I feel that you do like that kind of like nurturing, kind of loving kind of um, approach to relationships. Okay, so position um, three is what will this person be like? And the card here that you've got is the um, Five of Swords. Now to me, the Five of Swords is all about p b betrayal and um, stuff like that and somebody that's difficult to communicate with. So 
I've I feel that you've got a type of person that you that you tend to be attracted to, and I feel that um, this card is saying don't go for that usual type that you go for because otherwise you're going to be in this no win situation where where you're going to be wasting your energy and selecting partners that are really not compatible with you. So I, f I feel that this card is a, is just advising you not to choose a similar personality um, to what you to what you usually choose. I think this is the personality that is more suited for you, someone that's more nurturing, someone that's more compassionate, someone that's more healing to kind of like mend, you know, your broken heart that you've had from past relationships. Okay, so position four um, are the challenges that you face um, in love. And here you've got the um, Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands, yeah, they tend to charge into relationships. Um, you know, they want the romance. They, they want the action quite quick. And they don't kind of like um, take things from a slow process. Um, please remember that, you, that, you're, that you're already heartbroken from previous um, love affairs. You tend to be attracted to a certain type of... Um, guy you know um you know this card here was saying that you that you need to heal and and you need to rest and you need to take things slowly so i feel that this card is saying that um maybe because you 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 may rush relationships um and that could be a challenge for you yeah it's saying that romance can also be done slowly you know take the relationship slowly and steady and get to know the person Okay, so position five is what will help you? And here you've got the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups is a person that's in charge of her emotions. Um, she's intuitive. Um, you know, she's nurturing. She's loving. She's compassionate. She's kind. So I feel that this, I feel that this card is saying that rather than charge into relationships quickly, you know, um, Take your time, you know, um, be cool, be calm, be collected um, and stuff, you know. And also as well, take a grip of your emotions because because I, I, I still feel that you haven't fully recovered from your previous breakup. So that there, there could be like a bit of um, internal pain still there. So maybe the cards, are, maybe the Queen of Wands is set, so the Queen of Cups. Maybe the Queen of Cups is saying to you that you that you need to heal fully and you know um you need to rest and reflect and kind of think about what type of relationship or person that you want to be with. You know, maybe you might want to take things slowly and be friends first and build up in stages. Because if you go charging in um and looking for that romance quite quickly. You're going to end up with the same kind of situations that you had in previous relationships that could again affect your your heart, your emotions. Okay, so position six is when, where and how will you meet this person? And you've got here the Prince of Wands. So that to me is the Page of Wands. So Pages of Wands tend to be around like um sports and entertainment industry so i feel that you could meet your new potential partner in this sort of an environment ones are normally within days and weeks so it could be on your next actual venture up to those sort of um activities um this person um is going to be very creative um and a breath of fresh air, I think it will be a, a newer person to what you're used to. So this type of energy here that you're, norm that you're normally used to, I don't think the pay this new potential partner will have that kind of energy. Um, I feel that he will be nurturing, caring, um, understanding. Possibly a fire sign. Um, 
possibly Sagittarius, but that's just a gut feeling. It might not necessarily be true, Bobby. Um, and for a yes, no answer, the um, page of wands is yes. So your question was, will you find love again? And the answer is yes. Um, but the cards are advising you to, to nurture this and protect, protect this, you know, um, take your time, do it slowly. Um, don't go charging in because otherwise you're going to end up like this again, broken hearted. Listen to, to the advice of the Queen of Wands. Use your compassion and intuition. Because you, you do have intuition, Bobby. But I think this one will be okay. So I hope I've answered um, your question, Bobby. This deck here, um, the Shrine of the Black Medusa, I will add a link to it in the description bar. Others are, w are welcome as well to comment on this reading in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and you'll see me soon. Bye.